Hey, welcome back. It's Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach and Tracy's RV in Milgrove, Ontario, Canada. We're here to shoot this small little video on solar panels that we've been using on our coaches for the last couple of years. And to show you guys sort of how they work and what they look like on the coaches. And, uh, you know, if any of you are sort of interested down the road, you know, you know what's available to you at the same point and sort of how they work. Uh, the system that we're using is Go Power out of uh, BC. It's called GP Electric. Uh, is their website to look at their product and that. Uh, they're a really fabulous panel. It's a 95 watt uh, with a size of a 50 watt footprint. So it's a double layered panel. So instead of being the size of a 100 watt, sort of, which is a pretty huge panel. They've been able to shrink it down to fit on the smaller RVs and give you the power so that if you want to be off the grid to be able to, you know, keep the electronics working on your hot water heater, your furnace, your fridge, you know, along with keeping your lights running and the, and the fans, they work absolutely fabulous. Um, even in the shade, these even work, I shouldn't say in the shade, they, they work in when you have uh, a dead cloudy day, they work great in a dead cloudy day. The time that they don't work is if you put the trailer into shade. So if you take it into the trees and put it, trees all around it, they're not a shade panel, they're a solar panel. So they need uh, a solid uh, surface of light, and we'll show you the panel on the roof once we get up there. Um, but they don't work great in the shade. They need that light. To show you how they work, to start with, it's at a 12.7 is what the reading we have right now. When we push B on it, our battery is 100% right now, showing you that if you don't know what 12.7 is as a fully charged battery, it gives you a percentage so you have a readout. Um, from there we push it again, it's 2.2. .2. So as we've got a couple of lights running in this particular trailer, and it's a nice sunny day outside, the solar panel is running the, the lights in the coach. So, you know, for you couples out there or for families that go into parks and they say we don't have any hydro sites left and you're running on your battery and we're getting, you know, three, four days out of the battery and then, you know, the fridges are quitting and things. Well, this is sort of your answer to it that it's going to, you know, keep your batteries charged. As long as, again, you're not in the trees, it's going to keep your batteries charged. That You can stay in those non-hydro sites. And if you're out traveling across the countryside also and you want to stop in and stay at Walmart or any of the spots like that, absolutely fabulous. The other thing that the uh, solar panel also does is it desulfurifies your battery. So it's going to give your battery a longer life that when your trailer's just sitting there and your propane detector's running all day long and stuff like that because they're all hardwired in and it's pulling your battery down. The thing that's nice about the solar panel, it's monitoring it, it's keeping the desulfurite off the plates of the battery and you know all day long it will at times it'll go up to about 14.2. Uh, during the, during the daytime when it's sunny and when it gets during the evening it drops down to about 12.6 and the battery settles to show you they got a fully charged battery so you can go ahead and you're using all your lights and all that stuff during the night, daytime or nighttime I should say so when it comes the next day when you get up in the morning the sun's already out or I should say it's light out it's charging your battery getting things topped up for next day so you're not going to be without power again so let me take you up on top and we'll show you some of the features on top uh, and we'll go, sort of go from there. This I should also mention, it has an A and B button. The A and B buttons are so that this controller also has it that you can select AGM, gel, or flooded battery. So it depends on what battery you got. So we always set them up on number one, which is a flooded battery. And But if you did change your battery on your coach, it, because you choose to cha change it because you don't want flooded. It also selects on the controller on what kind of battery you got so it knows what it's charging. Uh, a really neat system. So we'll go on top of the roof and we'll show you what the, what the solar panel looks like up above. Okay, now we got you outside here up on the roof of this 14. This is the, the particular solar panel that we're using. Um, it's all a gel coat so it's protected. It has a 25 year uh, warranty on the panel itself on that and you can see the different cells on it on charging the battery it's all hardwired in um, so I wanted to show you what it sort of looked like on the roof also up here um, from there you know 
even in the winter times, they, these do charge in the winter, but if they do get snow all over them, they don't work. It has to be somewhat clear the panel and sun shining on it. Um, and while we're up here too, you know, you can also see on our roofs, our roofs are all uh, a one piece aluminum roofs. We don't use rubber roofs where you got to wash it, and maintain it. It's all done with an industrial silicone. So it makes it more maintenance free. We don't use any RV coatings on it because the RV coatings just don't last. We want it that you can go out there and really enjoy your coach without all the maintenance of cleaning your roof, worrying about branches tearing it or anything else. Um, so that, that kind of helps when we bring this video to you too to show you on the system. Um, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video that I brought to you. I enjoyed uh, bringing it to you. And if you got any questions on our panels, feel free to give me a call. It's uh, Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach in uh, Millgrove, Ontario, taylorcoach.com if you got any questions. Um, take care. Watch for more videos down the road. Bye now.